Mario, thank you for uh, being with us. Thank you for this interview. Uh, let's start with uh, Fulham's season so far. Fulham is struggling again, season full of games like the last one against Wolverhampton, uh, where you had a point until the very end and then uh, you lost it. But then on the other hand, you had some excellent games like that one against Liverpool, ups and downs. How would you describe the season so far? Uh, it's, it's hard to describe the season because uh, if I have to put a word on it, it's like it's gonna be like unlucky. For me, we are so unlucky because we we don't deserve the the position that we are in the league. For me, is my point of view because we I think we we are playing so well. We are we are trying to to show the the people around that we are a team that we play good, and uh, you know in the, you see in the last game like. Sometimes you just don't deserve this kind of result at the end. Maybe a draw was better, but I should, I, I'm, I'm still thinking that we could win this game because we, we were controlling it like from the beginning to the end. And from one, he shoot from so, I don't know where and he scored like this. And, you know, it's like frust frustrating. It frustrates me mm -hmm. like because I know mm -hmm. the way we're playing every day, the way we're working hard. And what we should re we should get from the, those games that we lost, like n not even this game, but a lot of games, and uh, you know, now we 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 are where we are, and that's it. Mm. As you said, uh, really unlucky season so far for you as well. I was going through the games, and so many games that you were better in possession, that you had many so many strikes, and and you were in in every angle of the game better than. Uh, the team on the other side, and then you lose. I mean, it's absolutely almost incredible. It's crazy, and I don't know honestly what to say. It's like everything is against us. It's like, you know, even uh, the game against Tottenham, like we, we could draw the game and the ball come to my hand. My hand was close to my to my body. And after that, they changed the rules after this, 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 uh, this, this action. And, you know, it's like, Something's wrong. I don't. I don't. I don't really understand because we don't deserve where we are. For me, that's what. That's my point of view. I said, and uh, we should be in the the better position. Position in the league, honestly. Uh, it is what it is. You're in the relegation zone, and everything is still open. Uh, you're 18th, six points less than uh, Newcastle. Uh, two more than uh, West Brom. Can you can you dig yourself out? Of this position, what what do you think? Uh, if if I if we can, yes, of course, because we we're gonna we're gonna work hard and try to give our best. Not we, not not even try. We're gonna give our best until the end. That's for sure because we we want to stay in this league and we for me we deserve to be in, in Premier League. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, yeah, well, what do you want me? <laughs> I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. that. No, we cannot. Yeah. If the of mathematically course. is still possible, we're going to try everything. Yes, of course, mathematically it is possible. But then six games left until the end of the season. Among others, you have to play Arsenal, Chelsea and Man United. Uh, it's not going to be easy, obviously. It's not but gonna... then, as you said, you're playing your best games against strong teams. So obviously that is something which motivates you extra when it comes to those games. Of course, of course, because I think the way we play suit better with the biggest team with the yeah biggest team and we will try the, to do what we 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 do every day and we're going to play our our football and if it's work it's going to be positive for us and uh, if it doesn't but we we have to move on move on and try to win the other games that's it uh, for you personally, season is good so far. I mean, uh, you, you scored a beautiful goal against Liverpool uh, and then some other games which are which were really good for you. H how do you see it? Are you are you satisfied with your performance or you think you can be maybe on, on some uh, another level as well? What, no. What's your opinion? Uh, you know, when I came at the beginning, I, I was uh, really struggling with my, my fitness and uh, I had a lot of injuries in my armstrings and these kind of things. And, you know, sometimes you want to come quicker, qu uh, quicker than, than you, you, you should. And you just go up and down, go up and down. And I didn't show myself really well. And uh, since, since January, I worked really hard, really, really hard to get fit, to get fit as I, I wanted. And, 
and they, they, they help me a lot to be, to be fitter and it works and now I, I have, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling really well, feeling really well on my body and my fitness and I can show myself better than, than before and uh, mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. and I think I can, I can be better than, mm -hmm. than where I am right now because um, I'm still learning, I'm still learning and trying to find my, my best, my best, my best shape and my best, uh, my best football. Mm. You came from uh, Italian Serie A to uh, Premier League from Juventus. How was how, how big was that move, and how difficult was to you to adapt to a new style of game, to to the new venues, to, to everything new? You you talk about uh, my move to from Marseille to Juventus. No, from Juventus to, to, to Premier League. Ah, uh, honestly, uh, when I left uh, when I left uh, when I left uh, Juventus. To Southampton, I was pretty confident with my with my fin mm -hmm. my fitness and everything. It was like uh, a good move for me to show that I can be a, a good player in Premier League. And I, I was feeling so well uh, on, my, on my on my mind and on my body. And when I came in Southampton, I did really well until like uh, I had a big injury. But I, I was feeling I I, mm -hmm. I feel that my my st style of play. He suits really well with Premier League normally. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me ask you something about your uh, national team uh, games as well. You're playing for Gabon, as we, as we know it, and uh, uh, how important is for you your African heritage and everything that you're that you're doing with your national team? It's really important because my Gabon is everything for me. It's everything for me. I, I born, I born there. And uh, I used to go every 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 year there, and uh, like uh, it's my country, it's my country, and uh, I want to give back what they give it to me, and they really they really love me there, and uh, I want to show them that I will give everything to to for Gabon to to make them like a, a really a good national team, but of course it's not gonna come from just me, and we got a lot a lot of good players now playing in the best league like Aubameyang. And we have yeah. to show that we are with them and we're going to do our best to, to try to play the, if we can, one mm -hmm. day, the, the World Cup. And that's, that's our mm -hmm. big dream. Mm -hmm. Through the history, through the years, we, we've seen so many good uh, players from, from African countries. Uh, and as you mentioned, Aubameyang, uh, who's your uh, national team uh, colleague as well. Uh, do you think that, that some African nation, like perhaps Gabon, can make a big impact uh, in, in such a big venue, as you mentioned as well, uh, World Cups and, and, and Nation Cup as well. Uh, honestly, yes, yes, because I, I've seen now some teams, they're not playing as, uh, anymore like African team. They're playing like European, uh, European big team. Like, I, I don't know if you see Mar Morocco play, if you see yeah. maybe Algeria play on this kind of, but they're playing, they're playing so well. And I think if they feature against one team in Europe and they try to, they're going to see, they're going to struggle. If they play maybe France against Algeria or something like that, it's going to be hard for France to beat them because they have now, they understand well uh, what they have to do to be part of these big national teams. And, um, and there's, they, they got a lot of big players like Riyad Mahrez and, you know, mm -hmm. this kind of player that they're playing for Manchester City and, and I like, Everything changed now for me, and we just have to see if it's possible for an African team to have a big impact. Let's see. Okay, in the end, last question. Uh, can you just tell me something about your upcoming game, which is Arsenal, uh, as we know it? So it's not going to be easy for you, of course. Of course, it's going to be a tough game, like all the games in Premier League. But now we have, we've got six games to go, and uh, Arsenal is the next one. and. I'm going to be honest with you. We have to take the three points, that's it, and uh, nothing else. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mario, and wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you very much.